the question is, how do you convince members to vote for you when you are regarded as a liability to the party? And how do you hold the party together after the party election? More so after nearly two years of infighting. And is there any secret weapon? Correct? Alex, I summarize your question. Basically, is that no, there is no secret weapon that I possess. It all boils down to sheer hard work, determination, sincerity, and finally, people will evaluate as a leader whether you are an effective leader or not. These are important because party election is a closed door election. Members will get to know you. And they know my character. I will call it a spade a spade. You watch and so That is my style. For some people, it is construed as being arrogant. Wow. This person is very proud. The talk is No, but to me, it's just what you watch and so on. So it's sheer hard work, determination, and the will to win. You see, this is important for all the young people that are here. You may be the smartest person in the world, but you have no will to succeed. You will not succeed. Very simple as that. If you look at all the successful people in the world, some of them are not very clever people, but they have succeeded beyond your expectation because of the will to succeed. You can be a very good student, but after you graduate, you become lazy and complacent and have no will to succeed, you will not succeed. Because there are a lot of people who are also equally clever. So you only have one up against other if you are determined to succeed. And I would say that my character is such that I'm quite a determined person. And it is because of the sacking that I became more determined. If they don't not sack me, they have no problem. <laughs> and I should thank them for sacking me. <laughs> Sincerity is important. And yet, because it's a public figure, then you must fulfill what you say. You must honor what you say. A very good example is that somebody say that I want to fight president is because I wanted to be the cabinet minister. I say no. So when I won, I, when I submitted the name to the prime minister, I say, sir, I've not included my name. This will make your life easier because I need to honor what I've said openly. That even if I win the presidency, I will not submit my name. So over the years, people know that this is a man who honor what he say and deliver what he promised. And I think that is important. If you just say one thing, one thing, say something wrong, then you can see people in the world. You can see you as another person. It's the same. So there is no secret weapon. It's sheer determination, hard work, sincerity that carries the day.